This is a video intended for the Sterling Equestrian Group. Well, Katie and Alex, I hope you guys are going well. Charm is an absolute star. We moved him up another level this weekend to the preliminary level. So this is sort of the equivalent of the FEI two-star level. And it was a, a pretty challenging course for him. And uh, I didn't quite know what to expect from him. Because uh, obviously he's been in fantastic form, but it's uh, it's quite a leap from the training level up to preliminary level. And uh, you've seen the dressage test here. This is on Saturday, and he went like an absolute ripper, mate. Uh, he scored a, a score of 23.2, which is Michael Young stuff. He got lots and lots of eights, some nines, and he he won the dressage. I think there were 17 horses in his class and uh, the judge absolutely adored him and again like I said before it was the first time he's doing um, leg yield in the in the um, dressage and medium canters on the circle and counter canter and uh, it was um, I don't know he's really really gifted in the dressage which is uh, it's a, a huge surprise to me uh, but he's very, very rideable. He's a flamboyant mover, and uh, yeah, every single dressage test that we do on him, uh, he wins. Actually, last weekend, we took him to a dressage show, and I've got um, a dressage rider that sort of helps me with the younger horses, a girl called Louisa Morgan, and she rode him at the dressage show, and he won that as well. He won the, uh, the first level uh, dressage test three and first level dressage test three. That uh, one. So uh, who would have thought that Charming Charm would be a, uh, a dressage queen? Anyway, I was more worried about the cross country than anything this weekend. Obviously, the show jumping's been very, very easy for him. He's, uh, he's done so much training and has probably bred to show jump the, the, the green parts, actually, the cross country. And uh, he was bloody brilliant today. So he... Uh, he won the dressage on Saturday, then on Saturday afternoon he show jumped clear. Um, so we had a uh, five point lead going into the cross country and I, I said to myself, what, what, what about if we just, just cruise around nicely and uh, I couldn't believe it. He, uh, he made the time by one second. So he won the class, his first prelim against some good horses and he, he not only won it, he won it by you know, four or five points, which is uh, pretty exciting. Funny enough, the cross country today, even though it was a, a really, really challenging course, it it almost like having it a bit complicated and a bit for him to do almost took a little bit of the spook away. Um, like uh, usually, when it's not that challenging for him, he finds things to spook at, like the the jump judge or the flowers or stuff around the, the course I mean he's still he's still a little bit sharp as you'll see in the video in a minute but um, less than usual and I have to say he um, you know my question mark as a big time horse was his ability to gallop and I mean he gallops like the wind um, and because he's a little bit spooky he, I've only got a snaffle in his mouth for the cross country and he he um, sort of backs off the jumps just nicely like he don't he doesn't get too wild and strong where you have to sort of really um, argue with him to get back so anyway that's our winning dressage test and again I'm always confident going into the show jumping with him and uh, lucky for us this weekend they decided not to put a Liverpool in and uh, he jumped around the course beautifully I feel like he's getting like a little bit stronger in his body just from you know just from his general work um, he's got good weight good muscle on uh, he's trotting up really well at the moment and uh, it's been very very healthy which is always a good thing with these event horses so anyway we're um, gonna start migrating back north to Pennsylvania I think we're gonna um, start sending the horses home this week so Charm uh, will probably be back up at the farm in Unionville uh, on uh, Wednesday or Thursday so he'll have uh, 
nice easy week of just hacking and flat work and might give him a, a light jump just before he leaves and then um, I think in three or four weeks we'll do a uh, another preliminary competition um, same level as this probably up north uh, just get some more mileage under his belt so this is the cross country this uh, this is charm the I mean this event we go to pine top the the reason we go there is because of this cross country course it's really good turf and beautiful big property and you can really sort of open the horses up and let them gallop and this water jump was uh, was tough enough I had a, a run out on one of my other young green horses here but Charm was a good boy here has a little bit of a spook at the water but then jumps it and he sort of gallops over that, that hedge spooky and then he remember here he has a bit of a typical charm spook there <laughs> and then he then he hops over this big ditch rail like it's nothing so. <laughs> uh, this is a fence that's early on in the course this is something he's never seen before it was a, a corner and then bending down a hill to another corner and like I said before it's I don't know there's a lot to spook him but now that we're sort of really having to be exact in a ride uh, I don't know like it's almost like it, it's a little bit more to, um, to for him to focus on still has a bit of a spook there <laughs> I don't think that will ever leave him and uh, funny enough it's worse in the warm up you know in the warm up they've got lots of flowers and stuff around the warm up fences and I don't know like I'd, I'd probably warm him up over a few more jumps than the other horses just to try and get that out of him this is towards the end of the course and so it was a um, the time on the course was six minutes and Charm made it around the track in five minutes 59 so he uh, he's a legend and you can see here he uh, actually covers the ground really well his ears are still pricked and um, he's got plenty of plenty of fight in him he's uh, he uh, keeps trying and never lets you know that he's tired which is a, a great attribute in a, a venting horse Anyway, guys, I, uh, I can't tell you how proud and happy I am with him. Uh, two wins down here uh, is uh, incredible. Um, he keeps on impressing me.